Hi, my name is Taylor Jacobs, and this is my journal video. Uh, the thing that I highlighted the most throughout the semester in my journal was relationships. Um, relationships meaning anything from a personal romantic relationship to close family and close friends. Um, my relationships impacted my semester the most in the sense that they really changed a lot of things around for me uh, in negative and positive ways. Um, some of the ways that my relationships affected me negatively were when I would have negative experiences with, um, my family or my friends, and it would overall affect my experience here at school because I wouldn't want to do anything at all, or it would affect me in class because I would be too busy thinking about what I had going on outside of school and everything like that, and then it would also affect me at work. <clears throat> because all I would think about is those issues that I had. And also another way that my personal relationships affected me is I've had a death in the family. And also I have um, a younger brother that was recently incarcerated. So it's been like a lot of things in my personal relationships with people that have affected me a lot this semester. Um, The positive... The positive ways that my relation my relationships have affected me is I am in a romantic relationship and though we argue and things like that as everybody does, um overall that person makes me happy so they even in distance have me smiling and being happy about a lot of things. Um relationship and family wise, um and friend wise. I somewhat have a decent support system behind me, so they keep me smiling and they keep me uplifted and upbeat and everything. And me and my group members feel like relationships impact your life because relationships outside of like a job environment and a school environment are the main ways re we react socially. So with that being said, without solid relationships, in our social environment outside of um, institutions as in school and work and everything like that. Um, if we didn't have a good social interaction outside of that, then we'd be really like socially uninteractive and things like that. Um, whether or not things are positive or negative really depends on each and everybody's personal experiences with each type of relationship. And that's what I reflected about the most in my journal. Family is what I did my journal on. My three beautiful children, starting with Amari Lamont. He is my oldest and he is my firstborn. He definitely loves Six, making you two, laugh. He loves climbing three. trees. He loves jumping off of tables, chairs, and cars if you let him. He's a very athletic kid. He loves playing in lakes. Anything that is nasty, he loves to put his hands on. He so he's just a boy. He's always trying to help his siblings and be the big brother. His favorite food is pizza. He could eat pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He loves out being outgoing. He loves making you laugh, cracking jokes. He'll do anything to see you smile. Now to my beautiful Taisley, my only daughter, my diva. She is the total opposite of her brothers. She loves her nails painted and her hair done. Her favorite food is chicken. Every time I ask her what she wants, it's always chicken. She loves to play outside. She likes to be the girly girl. She can be tomboyish at times due to the fact that she does have two brothers, but she still knows how to maintain and be graceful as a little girl. She's very smart in school. She loves to make funny faces. She loves to be in the camera all the time. And she okay. loves she loves to dance and move and feel the music just like her mom. She's very in tune with her stuff. She loves to play outside. She so you gotta keep swinging. swinging. She likes to climb like her brothers as well. She's just an all around outgoing child. Now finally, my youngest, brightest kid, Keaton DeAndre. He is the baby of the three, and he's just a big baby. He will come tell you he loves you every five minutes of the day, and he'll give you 50 hugs throughout the day if you let him. He's a very loving kid. He loves school, and he is the top of his class. 
his favorite food is snacks. I literally have to force him to eat dinner because he does he just doesn't like it he hates mashed potatoes but loves french fries i find that very interesting between amari taisley and keaton i could write a whole book about them i wrote my journal mostly about them because they are my biggest three elements of your social world that you think is influential my mom is influential to me because she wakes up every morning to provide for her family to make sure that we have food in the house and money in our pockets and a roof over our head. My aunt is also influential to me because she sets long-term and short-term goals and meet them every day and every year. My dad is also influential to me because he also wakes up super early in the morning, travel far just to um, make sure that his kids have a smile on their face and um, food on their table and just overall happiness. My aunt met one of her goals this year. She uh, got her a car that she always wanted. She also um, worked hard for that car, so she made sure that her credit was perfect so she could get that car. It um, meets her needs. It's everything that she always wanted. So, yeah. There was this one time last year when my mom took me and my sister to the Bahamas. We had such a great time. We rode jet skis and we relaxed on the beach. It was so fun. With my dad, it was this one time when he went all the way to California to provide for his family. He works as a truck driver, so he stayed out for like three, four days so he could do this big load that would pay him good money so he could bring that good money back home, and we was very grateful for that. So my mom shapes me in a way, um, she makes sure that in life I can be an independent woman and I can hold my own and not need anybody to um, come in my life and help me with anything. I should be able to help myself and provide for myself. Um, And my dad, he shapes me in a way of making sure that I'm a strong human being, Um, not being weak, not being weak-minded, making sure that I have my own head on my shoulders and my own thoughts and ideas and just making sure that I be strong no matter what and my aunt shapes me um by being she she tells me to always make smart decisions all the time she makes sure that um I know what I'm doing and that I'm sure of what I'm doing she likes me to make smart decisions they all three influence my actions by um when I when I get into a situation I might think of them and think of what they would say to me in a certain situation and I might react in a different react a different way in that situation like say if um I became broke I would remember all the things that my mama taught me to survive and I would um I would just follow her guidelines on what she taught me so yeah that's a big influence on me she's a big influence on me um I really appreciate that and I I appreciate everything that they have taught me also because they are older than me and um, that's another reason why I think they influence my actions they know more they know more they have experienced more um, in life and um, they dealt with their own battles and everything so yeah that's how I think that they influence my life and my actions and everything else these aspects of my social environment is very positive um they teach me what to expect in life and how to handle the obstacles that i might come upon um so yeah they're very positive aspects in my life and i appreciate every single one of them how will i change my life for the better with the new insights i gained while keeping a journal and learning about sociology I wouldn't really change anything, anything that I do now. I would just take everything that I learned in sociology and kind of apply it to the world around me. I would look at the world very differently now because of everything that I learned in sociology. It was very educational to me. Um, um, So, yeah, I'm still 
taking everything in. And I'm glad that I took the sociology class because it was very educational. It taught me a lot. And I I look at things very differently. The three elements that influence my life the most is family, friends, schoolwork, and working out. I do not know what I would do without my family. My family has made me who I am today. They taught me all my morals and values. They are always there for me when I need them, and I can depend on them for anything. School is very important to me. Even though I don't like it, I know I need it for the profession I want to go into, which is to become a dentist. Working out is the most influential thing in my life at this moment. It teaches me dedication. It teaches me how to push myself to my limits. It keeps me working for something, and it gets my mind off of things. Working out also helps relieve my stress and anger, and it makes me feel good and feel good about myself and my appearance. These aspects of my social environment are all very positive to me. They have all taught me a lot of life lessons, and they taught me how to face and handle my problems. I would not be the person I am today without these three aspects in my life. This sociology class taught me a lot of things. It gave me a new way to look at things. It gave me a new perspective. And no, I would not change any aspect of my life because that made me who I am today. But I would try to apply the sociology I learned this year into my life. Hi, my name is Chloe Eisel, and the three elements that me and my group had came up with was family, friends, and school. I decided to talk about family. So, on August 24, 2018, my mom had called me and told me some devastating news that my cousin Tosi had passed away. Um, she was only a year older than me. She was a sophomore in college and she was majoring the same major as I'm majoring in, which is dental hygiene. So that left us shocked with me because I was like, wow, she's just like me and she passed away. Like, that's sad. And the thing is, she passed away the same way my brother had passed away. He, my brother Dijon had passed away in a car accident too last December. So that was kind of sad because it kind of brought up memories. So my mom said that she was gonna buy me a bus ticket back home for next weekend. But the thing is I would have to miss the uh, first home football game, which is also the freshman rush. I was kind of sad, but I was like, I need to be home with my family at this time right now. Um, so yeah. So I went home August 31st and then the funeral was held on September 1st in Holly Springs, Mississippi, which is a small town that my dad was born and raised up in. Um, the city is very small and it's mainly country. It's mainly the country. There's, you're driving miles to get to a house. There's not a house next to each other. Yeah, it's a country and there's fields and plants and animals everywhere. So the funeral was at a small church that only held 50 people. But my cousin was such an inspiration to people. The whole city of Holly Springs, Mississippi, which was a population of 300, came to the funeral. So just think about it. 300 people in a small church that only holds 50 people was crazy. So the only ones that were, on, were allowed to go in the church were family and close friends and then if you're not family and close friends then they had to go to the gym which was like next to the church and they had like chairs put out and like big TV screens so they showed the um, funeral so me her me and my cousin I was in the church so the funeral lasted about two hours it was a long funeral it lasted about two hours and then she was buried right behind the church because they had a grave site right behind the church. So she was buried behind there. Um, after the funeral, they had the repast and at a community center in the city, like downtown city of Holly Springs, Mississippi. And it was, it was packed, it was hot because again, everybody from Holly Springs, Mississippi came to the repast, it's like, like they came to the funeral. So, but it was cool to be there just to be around family and just reminisce on like old times and like 
with Telsey in it and then my brother in it. And my grandpa told us, like, I hope this is like the last funeral that we plan and that, you know, we just have to pray with God to keep us safe and to keep our whole family safe and know that we love God and we understand that he did these things for a purpose and we can't question him why he did it. So that's what we have to, you know, you know, have to, you know, think about. We just have to keep thinking about that. And he, he did this for a reason. We can't ask him why he did it for a reason. And it's probably for a good reason. So in conclusion, I did family because family is like your key to life. They get you through anything. They're there for you when you need to talk to them. They're, they're, they always love you. And in my journal, family was, like every page was talking about family. My, either my mom, my dad, my brother, my aunties, my uncles. Family is much easier to talk about. Of course, I have a lot talking to my school and a lot talking to my friends, but to me, family was the most important to me. So, thank you. My social network is number one, schoolwork, number two, my job and working, and number three, a change of scene.